Ladies and gentlemen, Road to Eternity presents Family Futures Today, starring Tony and Nicole Davis. Welcome to Family Futures Today, where we prepare now so that we can thrive tomorrow. Now today's show is going to be very exciting. We have a slightly different format. Normally we would talk with couples and help them with issues that are described in our book, The Done Right Series. We have Marriage Done Right is Hard Work But Is Worth It, Parenting Done Right is Hard Work But Is Worth It, and Leadership Done Right is Hard Work But Is Worth It. And I guess babe, we would say that Leadership Done Right is Hard Work But Is Worth It is a book for everybody, yes. not, not just um, married people. And But in those books, we work with practical solutions and practical issues and help you walk through them so that you can get your desired results. Well, today's show, we're gonna bring up some topics that a lot of people don't think about, but it's very essential that you uh, master these subjects if you're gonna to thrive today. And our special guests are Natia Brass mm -hmm. and Levita Blackwell from Insure IT. Ladies, welcome to the set and thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Levita and Natia, tell us about Insure IT, tell us what you guys do, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna weave it in and see how we can help the people, okay? Okay. Okay, good. So at Insured, we um, specialize in auto and home insured. We um, are under an umbrella company, which is called NRB Business Services, Inc. And that was established in 2007 as a financial services firm. And last year, September, we launched Insured, um, helping people protect their assets, their homes and vehicles. Okay. And, and also, uh, my name is Levita Blackwell with Insured. Uh, we also do the um, legal shield, the identity theft protection. Um, there's a lot of issues going on with social media, hacks and stuff like that, and identity theft, people using people's credit cards and, you know, running up their credit. And we have a solution for people that experience that. It's a, it monitors your credit 24 hours. So... Talk to me about that. So we're talking about social media. When we're looking at social media, who's primarily on social media? Is it is it the young folks or is it the old folks? Is it everybody? Talk, talk to me about that. Well, I say primarily it's everybody, but primarily it's the young folks also. Okay. So if I have a teenager and they're on mm -hmm. social media, tell me some of the exposure that I may be um, subject to that I may not be considering and, and tell me about the potential danger of that because you mentioned the word hacks and so what's going to happen if somebody um, hacks into my network because of social media? Well because of social media because of the breaches that has happened uh, you know you have small children that's on the internet that's on these different sites you need to monitor their activity see who they're talking with. How do I do that as a parent? Well as a parent you need to to be proactive you need to sit and talk with your child. You need to know their passwords. You should have their passwords set up. You should have your computers set up where they can only go to certain sites. So you can put those protections in place. Also, you need to uh, basically know who they're talking to because there is predators out there. There's people looking for children. Uh, there's the deep dark web. That we have. What's, uh, what's happening on the deep dark web? Talk a to us lot about of things it. are going on. Um, give me like five or six. <laughs> I'm trying to give you. You said a lot. So a I lot. Just give you. Wait, when I say a lot, um, you have people that can uh, come into your children's, uh, f f well, different social media settings as a child. They can, you know, s put themselves as a child and try to befriend them and get into their social media and do different you know different things that so talk to me about my personal information uh -huh. and the and the risks that are the risks that i um that come into my household because uh, my child or even an adult may be on social media and then tell me what you guys do that can pot potentially mitigate those risks okay well um part of it is that because they're able to breach your uh different accounts, Facebook accounts, uh, Instagram accounts. You have personal information in there. Like what? What, you what, what your, do they get? You have your passwords. They also can get in there into your computers, mm -hmm. get to your uh, credit card information, send in different uh, viruses. You know, you can click click on an email and, you know, you don't open up a virus where they can get all your passwords to different, you know, protected uh, information. You mean like my bank accounts? Your bank accounts. Your credit cards, 
stuff like that. Okay, so if uh, uh, someone in my house is on some social media website and someone through um, some other means is able to obtain my passwords to my credit card accounts, or maybe even my bank accounts, and you know, maybe they take some of my money or they uh, obviously may make some charges that will be unauthorized, right? Because I wouldn't authorize them if they um, got in via those means. What kind of services do, do you guys provide? Or what, sh what can I do to, like I said, mitigate those risks or maybe even uh, okay. alleviate those risks, eradicate well, them all together? Well, yes, um, with Legal Shield, uh, we offer the identity theft protection. Okay, so uh, it monitors your credit 24 hours. Okay. So if someone tries to use your credit, uh, you'll get an email that notify you. Also, the credit, uh, the Legal Shield also sends, uh, it monitors the deep, dark web. When you say so, the deep, dark web, what is that? Well, that's a site that most people can't get to, but the hackers use it to sell your information. They can sell your data. They can sell your credit card information uh, for pennies on the dollar, literally. Okay, now I need to cut in because I'm a mom. Yes, you and are. I'm listening to you <laughs> and it, it scares me what you're saying. So say I'm talking to my children. I'm telling them, you know, stay off of these kind of sites. Mm -hmm. um, don't share your information with different people. And if I'm calling you, what can you do for me or for us as a family with our network? What do you put in place? Because I need to understand what is the service? What am I paying for? And what are you protecting so that my children, if they do press mm -hmm. the wrong button if they do put their information out there how does your company or well, they expose my information inadvertently well that's what the legal shield is for it's it's a it's a protection that's put into place when you get a monthly plan um the minimum plan runs you between 21 to 25 dollars per month and it's set up with all the credit bureaus where it monitors your credit 24 okay. hours daily. So in the event that anyone is trying to get into your your social security numbers out there anywhere, you would get an email alert. And what about pedophiles and those kind of things or pornography? Like, are you saying that you can protect a child from going into those kind of sites or are you just identity theft? Well, basically we're saying identity theft. Okay. You can, it's the okay. parents has to put different uh, protocols into place where the child can't get to those certain sites. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're able to put blocks in there or that's something separate? That's Am I something se separate. Okay. Yeah, okay. So you're separate. primarily identity theft. Identity theft okay. protection. Okay. Now how does that play into um, our telephones? Can you, does it cover our cell phones and our tablets and those kind of things? Or is it something just for it's, This is basically for the protection of your social security number, mm -hmm. uh, any data that involves people that can use your data to uh, open up accounts. That's what the identity uh, shield is so for. So you're saying regardless of the means of the breach? Yes. Okay, so with that being said, so let's say uh, <laughs> we have not, you know, we have Levita not here, right? So let's say we have Greg. Okay. Greg, and Greg stole Tony's social security number. Okay. And now Tony, is missing eighteen thousand dollars from one of his accounts, and I call Levita and Nautia, and I say, "Hey, uh, I need help now." Yep. And, and as a matter of fact, the reason I know is because the system that you guys put in place alerted me to the breach. Yes. What can be done then? It's everything is going to be stopped. Um, all your credit card information, everything is going to be put on hold. We have we offer up to one million dollars of coverage. So everything is going, you, you don't have to worry about, say, for instance, uh, being charged for some of the stuff that they did because that identity theft mm -hmm. is basically going to shut it down, shut your, shut your whole account down, and everything is going to come to a stop. And what if I don't have identity theft? Then, then what kind of risk do I expose myself to? You expose yourself to yeah. the maximum <laughs> risk. Yeah. Okay. So this is really good, though. Are you finding that families are understanding the importance of having this type of coverage? What What are you experiencing out there in the marketplace? I feel like that um, families do understand the importance of it. Um, I can't preach it enough. Okay. Um, so is it, are the families understanding you're preaching then? Well. Because if they understand, why do you need to preach it? Right. Well. 
is that people look at, oh, well, this is another cost, maybe, you know, but you have to look at it in the long term. What are you getting for your cost? You're getting protection, you're getting mm-hmm. up to a million dollars of protection. And also you get the follow up as well. So someone will go in and help you clear those things off your credit report okay, that beautiful. don't belong to you as well. So people have to realize that although the cost, you know, it looks like a lot, which is really not. If you add up what you spend at McDonald's or some of these places, the cost is really minimum to protect your assets in the future. OK, beautiful. beautiful. So you can help be preventive. Yes. As well as the cleanup, if I just, I didn't hear of you right. or I ignored mm-hmm. you, if I then say, oh my God, please come and help me, you can then get me back on the road to recovery of getting my identity back yes. right. by going and working with yes. the credit bureaus and yes. our bank accounts and that kind of yeah, thing. And legal show us- is good because you have an attorney at your call that can write letters for you as well to some of these places that are trying to charge you for charges that don't belong what, to What you. kind of attorneys do I have access to? Uh, any, if it's, um, if you have a traffic ticket, if you have any civil matter, um, mm-hmm. now legal show comes with an app on your phone. So if you get pulled over by the police and you don't want to speak to them and you feel like something's being unjust, you can call up an attorney that will speak to the police with you right from the app that's on your phone now. Exactly. So oh. it's, it's kind of, the product has come a long way. And then, but as, as far as uh, my identity and my assets. They will write letters for you and con- make contact with those companies that um, are saying that you owe something, a charge that doesn't belong to you. Now, what about the identity of my children? That's for you. They're protected under the family plan as well. Okay. So talk to me about the different kinds of plans. I know you mentioned something 25 to $35 per month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's a family plan for the um, identity theft. So it protects the entire family. Individually, it starts at $9.99 just for you individually. $9.99 per month. Per month. Mm -hmm. So for less than $120 a year, I can receive protection for my family in case something like this was to happen. Keeping in mind that if I'm on social media, I can, someone can, um, get into my account just because I'm on a, a particular social media website and I click the wrong button. Exactly. So Tony, break it down to the ridiculous because you're really good at math. So you gave it by month, but by so the day. Fa- the family is 20, is it twenty one ninety nine for the family plan, nine ninety nine for individual plan. And that's per month. That's per so month. So mm-hmm. per day, that's pennies. Pennies. Exactly. So as you're preaching, and that's what my heart is always to the family, what mm-hmm. is it that families need to understand? So, okay, we get it. Our identity is at risk, but the repercussions of us not doing something about that. Can you give us some examples of what you've seen, what families have gone through? Like, talk to us. about. People that. always think it won't happen to me, mm-hmm. you know, until it happens. And now it's time to panic and you don't have that backup protection. So we have to get out of the mind frame of it won't happen to me. You know, you have to always think ahead and think what's in the best interest of not only yourself, but your family. Mm-hmm. So have you seen someone who had that mindset and then it did happen to them? Absolutely. So tell yeah, us about that. Some stories. And being we in love the insurance stories. industry, mm-hmm. you know, we get that all the time. You mm-hmm. have people that have an accident, you know, even with auto insurance, they'll have an auto accident and they'll come to us the day later. Hold on, I want I want to get I want to auto I want to auto I want to stay with that identity right now. Exactly. Talk, talk to us about And it's already too late. There's nothing you can do at that point. Mm-hmm. The loss has already been incurred. Yes. Um, and so that's what people need to understand is that sometimes it's easier just to think ahead than to go back in time because you can't do that. Once it's happened, it's already happened. And that's mm-hmm. the mindset that we need to be in is to protect our future, protect our assets, protect our family mm-hmm. and to put different insurances mm-hmm. in place. So why do you think people struggle with that? And I'd like to hear both of your perspectives. Why do you think people struggle? With I that? think it's just a mindset that that mm-hmm. has carried from generation to generation that we think that it's, you know, unaffordable or it, we won't benefit from it. And I think it's just, it comes down to education. A lot of people aren't educated about the products that are out there that can help them. Now, do you guys, and let me, I'm going to come back to you, Mm -hmm. but do you do any kind of outreach or educational programs to help people understand this? Because she says she preaches all the time. Well, (laughs) (laughs) yes, but is this in the grocery store? I don't know, at the gas station, but do you purposefully and intentionally go out So Insure It has a Facebook page. So we're constantly blogging and putting information out there for people. And especially when the seasons change, when winter comes up, you know, how to protect yourself. You know, road conditions may be hazardous during different weather conditions. So Mm -hmm. you need insurance, you know, and so we 
we we put those things on the website. We also um, help people who have uh, bad driving records like DUIs. We offer what's called a SR22 insurance product. But we also tell them about the Legal Shield. Um, program that we offer as well because people don't realize that you know you can have an attorney right at the snap of your fingers and it won't cost you that much mm -hmm. when you have legal matters mm -hmm. and what about you from your perspective what do you think is the problem why people aren't um i think it's procrastination mm -hmm. you know people i don't know it's just like uh they think about it they feel it you know, they're emotional about it at the time and then something else comes up and it's like it's it's in the it's on the back burner. Mm -hmm. right? So priorities. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what? It's I mean, not a priority. We, we've all heard yeah. that statement: "An uh, ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure," mm -hmm. right? Exactly. But we don't know how to practically apply that. What do you think you guys can do, and what could we do to help people? Get in the mindset that, hey, you know what, I need to, I worked hard for these assets. Whether you have a lot or a little, right. regardless of what you have or how much you have, you had to work hard to acquire it, right? Mm -hmm. But now I need to protect it. Right? And, and I'm, yeah. I'm staying with identity theft right now. And we'll get to the, yeah. to the um, other side of the insurance in just a second. But what can we do to help people understand that? You know what, I need to take proactive measures mm -hmm. to protect what I've acquired and I need to protect, take proactive measures to make sure that people don't give me debts that I didn't acquire because you, you mentioned credit cards. So in other words, if, if someone gets into your account and they steal a credit card um, number, they can purchase things that aren't part of your assets yet. Right. And they can cause you, um, Thanks in the future. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about how, what can we do? I mean, we talk about mindset. We know the problem is mindset. Now you have a website, but how can we get people to really understand that this is worth my investment? This is like this is like hedging a position, right? This is how I can cut my losses in the future. How do we get people to understand that I can really afford this? Because because I'm broke, I can't. In my mind, I can't afford. It. I can't spend money on one more thing. Now you're telling me nine ninety nine a month. Oh, that sounds right. easy. Mm -hmm. That's pennies on a dollar. Less than one hundred twenty dollars a year, and that's less than your sandwich at McDonald's. All that sounds great, but the reality is, I'm negative this month. And now you're telling me to protect my assets, and I really. I don't have much. Well, I ain't got nothing, mm -hmm. right? What do you say to that person? Uh, basically, you need to sit down with your family and put your family first. You know, put your family first and think about, you know, the what ifs. Because mm -hmm. we can all, we can all, we can all use uh, some kind of protection for our family. Uh, as far as identity theft, um, we just need to change the way we think. Basically, think about family first. Think about your assets. Um, something that if you if you if you're having a hard time coming coming up with twenty five dollars a month for the family, cut back on something else. Cut back on spending somewhere else. Try to make it work. That's the important thing. Try to make it work. Yeah, and especially for those who may have children, right? Because yeah. we're talking about family first, and even though you may not necessarily have a lot of assets, your child. Yeah. You want to you want to put them in a position where they can have assets because mm -hmm. if you don't, someone may come in and steal their identity, right. and then and if they don't know how to get out of that hole, then you put them in a position where they're going to struggle building their credit history, and they'll yes. and they'll have a difficult time acquiring assets. So mm -hmm. you're talking about putting family first. Babe. I see yeah, your brain working. Yeah, because I think the other thing that people aren't cognizant of is that what you don't know can hurt you mm -hmm. as well because right. because someone can steal your identity mm -hmm. and we've seen and i've heard of many times where young people who are under the age of 18 they want to go to the military or they want to do mm -hmm. something else and they learn or applying for a job where your credit is important and it's not until that time mm -hmm. that they're learning Oh my God, somebody stole my identity. Mm -hmm. And so parents aren't thinking about the future, not so much as it pertains to just my credit card, mm -hmm. but the future abilities of your children and mm -hmm. even yourself, if someone steals your identity, what that means for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So as we're talking to parents and we're wanting them to understand that, um, it is our obligation to protect our children in every sphere of their lives. You know, we want to mm -hmm. focus on 
education and we want to focus on their gift skills and abilities you know those are things and their talents you know if they sing we'll do everything for that or dance or play a sport we'll do everything for that but if they don't have their identity Mm -hmm. if someone snatches that you didn't give them permission but they took it because you weren't protected then all that you've done can be for not for some time as you're trying to clean that up and so that's another aspect of this that I think parents aren't thinking about because we don't hear it enough Mm -hmm. or understand the ramifications for not doing something like this and it's also very important if you look at family dynamics as well if it does happen Mm -hmm. well let's just be honest about it here's what most people are going to do they're going to start pointing fingers and, and placing blame. Right. Mm-hmm. So now you have the whole dynamic of the household that may shift because someone's identity has been um, stolen mm-hmm. or uh, someone's credit card number has been compromised. Why did you even go to this site? Why did right. you um, <laughs> Why did you turn the computer right. off at night? So now you have yeah. a lot of head knocking going on in the home because of something like this where it could be prevented. Right. And if you have some kind of protection, you can say, you know what? Yes, someone did steal our credit card number. Someone did steal my social security number. However, however, babe, it's okay. It's okay. We have protection. Right. It's going to be all right. We're going to have a momentary roadblock, but we can handle this. Mm-hmm. So that, that's part of the cure as well. You're, you're, you're putting measures in place to be proactive right. for the, um, the heartaches and the trial and tribulations and the attacks that may come on your family. Mm-hmm. And so while you, it may seem like, oh, it's just identity um, protection, it's really family fighting mitigation as right. well. <laughs> because we know people love to point fingers mm-hmm. at other folks. Mm-hmm. And I, That's am, am I right about it? Yes. Exactly. Or you think yes. I'm just coming out of the side of my neck? I mean, <laughs> no, you're right. Okay. You're right. Mm-hmm. okay. okay. So what else? She said you want to talk about what other types of well, shots? We want to talk about the um, homeowners and the um, auto, but we'll do that right after this break. Are you ready to make monumental changes in your life, business, or relationship, and are looking for a push in the right direction? Tony and Nicole Davis from the brand new TV show Family Futures Today offer personal development and relationship coaching services so that you can get your life and your relationships on a path to success. After nearly three decades of marriage, Tony and Nicole know what it takes to have a dynamic marriage and be inspiring parents without giving up on personal goals and dreams. As co-founders of Empowered to Engage, they've released the Done Right book series on leadership, marriage, and parenting, and travel across the United States, helping people just like you. And now, they're expanding to help individuals, couples, and families around the globe. For more information and to sign up for your free consultation, visit www.empoweredtoengage.com. Hi, this is Wendy and welcome to The Wendy Life. This is a brand new show. We are celebrating some unsung champions in our community, the disabled community. I have been a mom of disabled children for 21 years and I look to bring light to this community. We are going to talk to you and celebrate therapists, teachers, doctors in this community. We are going to talk to the special needs community themselves. People who are rocking out this life despite their disability, showing us how to live our best lives no matter what life throws at us. You can find us on the Ultimate Faith TV Network, which is on your Roku streaming box, or Road to Eternity on YouTube. That's Road, the number two, and Eternity. The Wendy Life. New episodes every second and fourth Friday on the Road to Eternity channel. My parents always told me I could be anything I wanted to be. Just be it with my whole heart, work hard, and God will open doors for me. Things wouldn't come easy, but if I live with purpose, passion, and persistence, God will provide. I am the woman of my dreams, and it wasn't an easy journey to get to her. I am more than who I label myself to be because God is still revealing my destiny. I am Chantal Ashante Hill, the spiritual ballerina. New episodes every second and fourth Friday on the Road to Eternity channel.
Welcome back. We are here once again with Nartia Brass and LaVita Blackwell from Insure It, talking about insurance and how it's a practical um, product that we need in our lives. And earlier we were talking about the um, identity protection, but now we said we're going to transition a little bit and talk about something that a lot of people just really don't give much attention to. We think it, it's it, a lot of times it's mandated by the states and we think right. we have it, and but we don't, right? right. We're talking about homeowners and auto. Right. I want to start with the homeowners first, especially when like this time of year, we're looking at the fall and you have yeah. hurricanes and heavy rains and people's basements getting flooded, trees falling. Talk to me about the importance of having adequate homeowners insurance. And notice I, I threw an adjective in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. adequate. adequate, right? Talk to us and about so, that. Uh, and this happens a lot of times with um, people who are new homeowners. They want to get to the closing table as fast as possible, and they just get the minimum coverage, not thinking about things that may happen down the line. Um, I know of someone oh, who- Hold on, I got to interject. Yeah. You said minimum, when most people think of minimum coverage, what, what is minimum coverage? They don't think about the little things that may happen. They may just get only for fire protection, or um, they don't think about flooding happening, especially if you're told that you don't live in a flood zone. Okay. And so that may be be a coverage that they won't get in their package. So when you get the minimum just, package, what do you get? What do you get with the minimum? It's usually just uh, for your fire protection, mm -hmm. um, and then you get for natural disasters. So if uh, lightning strikes or something like that happens, so you don't get the full package of all the little things that happen. For example, I know someone whose basement got flooded. Um, and what they didn't realize is they did have some type of water coverage, but the water coverage was limited. It was limited to an appliance backing up on them. Oh, what, what, was that, what does that mean? So if a washer machine backs up on you, that type of appliance, a refrigerator leaks. Oh, so the water from the washing yeah. machine was their water coverage. That was their water coverage. They did okay. not have sump pump coverage. Uh. So winter came on and the pipe froze and their finished basement was flooded. Their nice, beautiful yeah. finished basement. Exactly. <laughs> and so what they don't realize is sump pump is an additional coverage. So you have to add that on. It, okay, it's no, hold not on. automatic. Let, let, hold, let's, yeah. put a, let's put a pin yeah. into there. So they, their nice basement flooded. Yes. What happened? I mean, was it like finished a little bit of basement. water? basement completely damaged. And not only do you get water damage on your furniture and your floors, you also get mold okay. that has to be mitigated. Mm -hmm. um, and so the cost just skyrockets and you can't live under those conditions. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Talk to me, what's that skyrocketing? Give me some numbers. Yeah. Oh, you're talking upwards to 20, 30,000 for a finished basement. Okay. Because when you get that water damage, the floors have to come up, even the baseboards and parts of the walls have, because of mold, that mm -hmm. has to be removed. Mm -hmm. Anything that's affected by, especially if you don't catch it in time. So you, you were looking at a basement being flooded because yeah. of pipe froze with the sump pump. With the sump pump. $30,000 worth of yes. damage. They call yes. their insurance company yeah. and they say, uh, no, it wasn't the washing machine. Yeah. It was, it was your sump, sump pump. pump. And there's no coverage for it. And now what happens? So now you're stuck. Now your family is in turmoil because you have this disaster that's in your basement and now you have to come out of pocket to fix it or you have to decide to fix or not to fix. You can't live with mold in your home because, you know, there's all different types of health repercussions behind that. So there is no, so, no fix. No fix. You go in and you have to rip everything out once that happens. Mm -hmm. And then the question comes, how do you restore your loss if you don't have proper insurance requirements? And how do you do that? Has to come out of pocket some kind of way. If you don't have insurance, if you don't have the proper protection and just think of what that does to the family and the financial burden it puts on just everyone. Mm -hmm. So do you think you would tell someone, let's go back to the new family um, purchasing or yeah. the new home that the family yeah. or a couple is yeah. purchasing. How would I know what is the adequate homeowners insurance because clearly I don't need yeah certain things because that never happens in this area right. or, but know, also yeah. no but here's the bottom line we're getting a new home they said I need insurance so I call the insurance agent and they give me insurance and I say oh that premium sounds good to me I have insurance on my home mm-hmm 
a lot of times people are told, okay, do you want this option or want that option? But they're looking at that bottom line. And so if it's an extra $50 onto their mortgage, they may say, well, no, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to opt out of it because it's that mindset again of it'll never happen to me mm -hmm. or I'll get it next year or, you know, whenever I can. So you have to think, what if it happens now? What if it happens next week? You know, you can't keep putting things off. So a lot of times people are aware that these coverages exist, but to save their bottom line, they don't opt for them. So, and talking to a family, because that's how everything we're talking with you about, we're thinking, how do we share this with the families? And what is it that we want the families to understand? That conversation between that husband and that wife, when you're looking at adequate coverage, yeah. it's not so much the extra things that don't necessarily happen. It happen. It is looking at, okay, this says appliances. Right. Does this cover all of the appliances or yes. things that water comes out of yes. in our home? Like to really think about those extra items. Exactly. And ask the questions, is this covered? Mm -hmm. You know, but what do you say to the, the potential homeowner? who doesn't know how to ask those because questions you really don't because know. you don't know you don't. what you don't know, yeah. right? You don't, but again, it comes with education. You know, if you're purchasing something, you need to know what it is that you're purchasing. So this family that had 30 grand worth of damage, what happened to them? They ended up ripping everything out and never replacing it. Hmm. So they Never went from replacing the it. So they went yeah. unfinished. So to finish to, 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 to losing the whole right. floor of their house. Exactly. Exactly. For thirty grand, that, and and you said some pump coverage may cost how much extra per month? Fifteen or twenty-five dollars a month in some cases, you know. But when people are looking to cut corners, you know, those are just certain coverages that they opt not to get. So for two hundred and forty dollars per year, mm -hmm. right? I can actually incur damage that may total thirty thousand dollars a year. But because it happened with this particular uh, apparatus in the house, and with this particular place we're going to call right. the sump pump, I can get $30,000 worth of repair for $240 a year. Exactly. So I need to look at the return on my potential investment. And let's say I go five years and nothing happens. But oh, no, 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 Tia, I just lost $1,000. I gave a thousand dollars to the insurance company and nothing happened. But yeah, but you can't really look at it that way. You have to Why look at I? it no. in the event that something does happen. But nothing. Because that's the definition of insurance, right? Mm -hmm. For that premium, they take on the risk that you may incur. So just look at yeah, you but, know what they're taking. But they're taking my money and and nothing happened. They just got a thousand dollars of my money. I could have used that for something else. Right, but that's the mindset that we have to get out of. We have mm -hmm. to start protecting ourselves, you know. And even though you may think I'm not in the flood zone, well, think about that instance where it was actually a frozen pipe that caused that sump pump to back up. People think, oh, because we're in the Midwest or wherever, mm -hmm. um, we just may incur wind damage, fire damage. Mm -hmm. No, you have to sometimes think outside the box of things that may happen to mm -hmm. you. And I and when I think of it. Sure. Oh, you smile no, at me, babe. When you think of you, you smile at me, you just made my mind. Go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, actually, go ahead. Not what I was going to say, okay. though, but when we think of insurance, you know, that's that you call the palm, the peace of mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're really spending that thousand dollars over that five year period for the peace of mind, knowing peace that of mind. if I spend this amount of money in the event that something does happen, I don't have to come out of pocket thirty thousand dollars. And 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 in any particular scenario. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're investing in. If you say I can spend one thousand dollars and get a thirty thousand dollars return on that money in five right. years, most people would say that that's a good investment. And and if, even if you um, spend that money and you say all I got out of it was peace of mind, that's still cheaper than a whole lot of dinners over five years, isn't it? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it just makes me think. You know, of course, family done right is hard work, which is a shameless plug for yeah, our book. Sure, yeah. <laughs> but <done> right. <laughs> this is parenting. Yes. Leadership, marriage. This is our done right series. And I'm saying family, family done right. Because now you're saying the onus is on us. You know, yes, that's nice. We were able to purchase a new home. But do your due diligence and understand what comes with that purchase. Exactly. It's nice that you have an extra bedroom now, you know, more space. But are you adequately covering this new investment and this costly investment exactly. for years down the road, whether something happens this year or not, 
whether it happens next year or the next three years. But when it does and if it does, mm -hmm. you are prepared. But that only comes with information. Exactly. And so that's something that couples need to do more of. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the show. We write the books because information applied is power not just information and we're finding that there's tons of information out there mm -hmm. we just don't know what to do with it or how mm -hmm. to do what we right. know to do so you're telling us okay you got this home and that is excellent advice mm -hmm. when you get the insurance and it says appliances like tony said well what do you mean appliances right. sump pump what is a sump pump right you don't even think about those kind of things or your piping how old is the piping what is it made out of all of those things where is it placed based on your um your electric box on the wall so right. all of those things are up to us to make right. sure we know, ask the questions. Ask the questions. When you don't know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I have a question, but I want to make a statement first. When we're going to do a, a show in the future that's going to be dedicated to um, um, Will's Trust and Estates family planning. And, and with, within that segment, and there's also a life insurance component as well. We think it's very important, especially when we see a lot of um, families uh, having tragedies, uh, whether people dying and then you see the GoFundMe uh, solution mm -hmm. as, a, as, a, as a way to finance a, a funeral and also to finance um, the raising of children, you know, so we want to definitely deal with that in the future. So we, we want to deal with that. But in this particular case, we have to ask ourselves the question. It's going going back to estate planning, right? And and and, and planning, and financial planning. Because I mean, you said you guys do some financial planning as well. When when you're investing in a a, a stock, or even if you're going to do some options trading, here, here's a question that you would routinely ask yourself. You ask yourself this question: What if I'm right? And then you also ask yourself the question: What if I'm wrong? Right. What if I'm wrong? So because you said in in, in some instances. The agent will will um, notify the family, and, and they'll say, "This is um, this is not covered, and you may want to add this one as a rider, right? right?" And then a lot of times we'll, we'll waive that because of the um, potential uh, financial impact on our um, monthly bottom line. <laughs> but I think when you talk about the mindset, now we need to start training ourselves with this question: What if I'm wrong? See, a lot of times we go in assuming, what if I'm right? Mm -hmm. And we just assume we're going to be right. I don't live in a flood area, so therefore I don't need this flood insurance. Right. But what if I'm wrong? What would I do then? Because for that family who had to come out of pocket, yeah. I'm sure they asked themselves this question. And, and I bet you they would say, or well, maybe I'm wrong. You can tell me I'm wrong. But they probably said, you know what? If we could do it all over again, we would have spent the $15 a month yeah. for this additional coverage. Absolutely. Well, what other kind of damages do you see? So there's water damage. What else do families deal with that you've come across? Not that, they, that they usually ignore. That they ignore. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times um, they ignore certain types of wind damage is it covered or not um and that's a why lot would of wind damage not be covered well especially with auto insurance you have to really look at your auto insurance policy and see if a tree falls over on your car is it covered mm -hmm. every policy is different so i advise everybody read through your policy and know what you have are you talking about a tree as i'm driving down the street or a tree on my property or a tree on anybody's property on or your own. Own. property and mm -hmm. a lot of times people just want to stick to the state minimums and get the liability insurance well what happens happens in the event of something like that happening and you're not covered what happens so tell, tell us you won't be covered because you don't have what's called comprehensive insurance you only have a liability so if a storm comes through tree falls over on your car your car is damaged and it's up to you to fix it. Why would I get only liability insurance and not comprehensive? That's what's mandatory in the, in the state. So a lot of people, again, to save on cost, only get the state minimums. What about for new cars? For new cars, a lot of times if you have a lien on your car, then you are required to have the comprehensive in collision mm -hmm. because, of course, the bank requires mm -hmm. you to protect their asset. But a lot of times when people don't have that car note anymore, they tend to drop down to liability only, not thinking, okay, what if something happens to this vehicle? Not only just the liability side, but what if, you know, a deer runs in front of me and I hit it and my car gets damaged? Who's liable then? 
So a lot of times people tend to overlook that. Have you um, had any instances where someone has had a situation where they've hit a deer or a tree has fallen on their car? And they... Absolutely. That's tell why us, I tell us about the tree, <laughs> the tree instance. Oh, tell us about what happened. Um, someone only had liability only um, and the storm came through. Um, they had parked by a tree in their apartment complex and it fell down on their car and crushed their car. And when they went to put in a claim, they found out, okay, it's liability only. And they're like, okay, what does that mean? Well, that means you don't have comprehensive. Okay, but liability only meant that, that if they, if hit, they hit someone, someone, someone else, they, they would, the person they hit would be covered. Mm -hmm. Themselves, they were not covered. So what happens is that if you're driving and you have liability only and you hit the car in front of you, that car in front of you is covered, but you're not covered, which means your medical bills are not covered. Your vehicle is not covered means, if you are at fault. So in other words, liability insurance means that you just... You have no coverage for yourself. You're just protecting the person that you may have hit if you were at fault. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't understand that or either um, they just, you know, just, again, want to save on that bottom line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some scary stuff. That, that's very scary. And, and we need to prepare because once again, when things like that happen, especially if you're dealing with a married couple, right? If we went to the auction or something like that and we bought you a car and we spend cash, now we're not required to get comprehensive. We may just walk off the lot and say, let's get liability insurance for the sake of saying that we have insurance, right? right. And now we have a tragedy that we strike and we, we, know, we find out at that time we're not covered. I'm going to blame you. Well, you're going to blame me. You're going to ask, why didn't you get me the insurance that I needed, right? right. Or if, if the basement floods and now we have $30,000 worth of damage and we can't afford to repair this basement, we bought this home, we loved it. We used to love the home, now we don't even like it anymore because we didn't spend $15 a month to just make sure that we had the adequate coverage right. to repair our home. See, those are the kind of things that we really need to make sure that we pay acute attention to because those are the kind of things that are, if we don't give them the proper attention, they're gonna affect the dynamics in our home and it won't be pretty. We have to uh, make sure that we look at everything, the positive and the negative, and we want to put the, um, a proper protection in place to make sure that we minimize those risks so that we can really enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can people get in touch with you if they want more information? Um, they could go to our website at www.insuredauto.com. Can you spell that? www.auto.com. <laughs> Insurance right? <laughs> Auto. Help us out. I N S U R E I T A U T O dot com. Mm -hmm. Say it one more time. <laughs> www.insureitauto.com. Well, we want to thank you guys so much for coming. Thanks for having me. It's been me. delightful having you here. And, and I hope that the audience, you... I hope we're not done. I have more questions. Babe, we are done. We are oh out of time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much, babe. Go ahead. I was really enjoying this conversation. Okay. Well, now, you know, when you smile at me, I just forget what I was supposed <laughs> to say. Thank you once again for coming. We really enjoyed you. And... For those who, are, who have additional questions like Nicole, go to www.insureit and reach out to LaVita and Natia and get your questions answered. So we just had a conversation talking about insurance. We went over identity theft, auto insurance, and homeowner's insurance. Right. And we've been married for 27 years. And of course, needing insurance has always been a part of our lives. But I think there were some key nuggets that came out today that really gave me an aha moment. Like, ah, yes. Well, if you think about it, Nick, Money is one of the primary costs of divorce, right? We, we know that we hear like money well, and fidelity. Well, at least it's one of them. Yeah, yeah, we, we yeah. hear money and fidelity. You know, those are the two biggies, right? Mm -hmm. And communication. And communication. Mm -hmm. But with money, we, we, know, we tend to think of overspending or not budgeting, but we don't think of those other ways that money can come in and be a problem. And lack of insurance and lack of, lack of adequate insurance can cause a tremendous financial hardship on the family mm -hmm. and in addition to that we know that once those money problems creep in the finger pointing starts so That's right. so you be thinking well, yeah so how can i preserve my family proper insurance who would have mm -hmm. thought about it right? right proper insurance can actually right. help preserve my family and actually eradicate some of those money um discussions right loud well, discussions and one of the things and you'll see this um 
unfold even more on the show if you're watching it now for the first time. But one of the things that came up is the whole issue of home ownership. If you're buying your home for the first time, we actually talked about not having adequate, adequate coverage. Adequate, very important. And that is the operative word that really matters. Yes, you may have insurance, whether it's your homeowners or your car insurance, but having adequate coverage is what's most important. So we talked about water damage in a house. Well, of course, you're thinking of all water. Think, all water. water, if, I, water if I have water, water coverage, then we should be good. Water, regardless of the source. But no, you need to make sure that that water damage um, or that water coverage covers not only your pipes, if you have a sump pump, all of your appliances, and these are things that we either don't know or we think is not important or doesn't apply to us. Or, or as, as um, Natia said, a lot of times, even when we are educated with that, we want to take the cheap route. But taking the cheap mm -hmm. route, is, <laughs> as we can see, will cost you more in the long end. Mm -hmm. So being cheap will cost you greatly. So make mm -hmm. sure that you get the adequate insurance and, and save yourself a lot mm -hmm. of financial heartache and relationship heartache as well. And this all ties into everything that we do. You know, of course, we're saying the Done Right series, yeah. our books. Marriage Done Right is hard work, but it's worth it. Uh, parenting Done Right is hard work, but it's worth it. And, and leadership. leadership. Yes. And a part of leadership is leadership leading your family in such a way, making the right kind of decisions as it pertains to your finances. And now we're talking specifically about insurance. Yes. If you have that and you do that work, then you're covering your family, not just for today, but for the future. And that's why we are Family Futures today. Family Futures today. Doing what? Prepare Ready now. To thrive tomorrow. And that's what you want to do. See you next time.